Hello dear ones. I'm at Sage Ranch. It's a beautiful, bright, sunny day. And um, it's gotten awfully warm here in Los Angeles. Just unseasonably warm. It's amazing. And every day in the last few days it's been just like this. And I can't help but notice how much better I feel when I'm out in nature in the sunshine or in the shade near the sunshine than I am in front of a computer. I don't know if you've noticed this phenomenon yourself. It seems like the computer is going so slowly these days and so many things go wrong and um, just one technical glitch after another and lately I've been at in the early morning when I wake up and at night right before I go to sleep I've been calling on my higher self and uh, I've come to the realization that it knows a heck of a lot more than I do in fact the amount that I know is practically not worth talking about and so I've come to the understanding that I really need to rely on my higher self. And um, so at night and in the morning what I do is I, I just send a message to my higher self. I say, I just want you to know that it's perfectly fine with me if you arrange all the small details of my life for me. I'm willing to do whatever it is you think I ought to be doing to achieve my sole purpose and my mission here on earth. Uh, the problem being that I'm not too sure what they are so if you just let me know <laughs> I'd be delighted to do it. And if there's things that you can do in the background without my knowing about it to help me to do these things, that's just fine by me. You have my permission. So in that way I'm always thinking about my my higher self these days. And I can't help but feel that when the computer starts glitzing up and um, glitching up and everything seems to go wrong with my telephone, it's kind of like my higher self is saying to me, why don't you go outside and enjoy the sunshine? You know? <laughs> and the same thing, I go out and I get in a car and the first thing that happens the first, very first person I see is a person who's not looking where they're going in a car coming towards me. They just run right straight through the, the stop sign. So I'm thinking, perhaps a car is not the very best thing to be doing actually right now. Not the office, not the car, then what, you know? So I'm looking for the, the occupations, the activities in my life that, that caused the most joy. So this is one of them. It's terrific. It's funny how my mind tells me that I can't do the thing that I really want to do. So here I am, disobeying my mind and listening to my higher self today. And uh, while I was here, I took some pictures of the spring um, chaparral and the little wild plants growing up. And in case you have an interest in them before, sometimes before they bloom or if they're just starting to bloom, to be able to identify them, I've added them at the end of this um, video. So have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. And hi to your higher self too, from my higher self and from me. Oh yeah, I had one other thing to just uh, uh, tantalize you with today. It's a question. Suppose our higher self were as big as a city block and suppose it were capable of all kinds of um, amazing things. For instance, suppose it were capable of um, projecting an, a 3D image with sight and sound and all that, that we take to be ourselves. And suppose it could turn that image on and off again whenever it wanted to. Wouldn't that be cool? Suppose 
suppose we ourselves, um, if we were to uh, join with our higher self, we're able to to had the wisdom to, to see things from the perspective of of a being that's as big as a city block. How would that be? Would we behave differently? Would we look at life differently? And death? And everything in between? How would we act? Suppose, suppose everything that our lower self sees and hears and smells and tastes and feels by way of pain and pleasure is really just a lesson that our higher self has programmed for us so that we can add to the soul knowledge of the universe. Would that change how we behave in life if we really believed that? I don't know. But we spend a lot of time thinking of ourselves as small, uh, weak beings who are pushed around by a lot of other beings and circumstances. And I figure it wouldn't hurt to just spend half a day or half of every day imagining that I'm a great, giant, miraculous, wonderful self that's, that has all wisdom and all knowledge and the ability to connect with everything. Why not? I mean, everybody knows that the senses, how many senses are there, six or seven? That the six or seven senses that we recognize as, as, um, as defining the world aren't really worth more than about two cents. <laughs> so, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try thinking of my day in terms of my my great self, my high self, and, and see what happens. <laughs>